one here tonight, uh, dropping by 17. The Railers, uh, I, I don't know what it was. It, it just seemed like the Railers got off to a real sluggish start in that first quarter. It seemed that the Railers were having a hard time matching the intensity for Southeast, especially a couple real easy baskets on the rebounds where it seemed like Lincoln was standing there watching Southeast do the rebounds. Oh, no doubt. Uh, they really... Uh you got to attack the ball against them, and, and we block out, and we just hope somebody else goes and gets it. And, you know, Chris Davis is a great rebounder. Mm -hmm. You know, he rebounds his area and everyone else's area, yeah. and uh, that's what the mentality. He's got a Dennis Rodman type mentality, and he is uh, uh, a great rebounder. And then, you know, uh, I think we shut them, done a nice job on the three pointers. They, they hit a few. Nothing like they did. Uh, no, just five, Coach. Yeah, you know, and I think they had 10 or 12 at home. But then, uh, you know, I, I told them they were going to either beat you with their threes or beat you with their defense. And they scored on their defense and turned us over, and we, we just gave up too many baskets, easy ones. Yeah, Coach, there in the first first quarter, uh, the run and jump really bothered the Railers. Not a lot of guys coming to help Max, and, and when he was getting double team, uh, picking it up and, as we said, not a lot of people helping out as soon as that but caused a lot of the first half turnovers. First half, uh, 12 turnovers, and uh, a lot of that was in the first quarter. Yeah, you know, and probably in the first four or five yeah. minutes. And, uh, you know, but uh, you, you can't give a team like Southeast, uh, you know, the, the uh, uh, opportunities like that because that's their type of game. Their defense is part of their offense. And, you know, we'd like to make ours the same way, but uh, we don't have the quickness and the uh, uh, you know, the, the toughness, you know. Going into the fourth quarter, I thought we made a good run at them. But again, uh, you know, you find out who's the tougher team when you get to the ball game and it gets on the line. you got to be able to play and, and make plays. And they make the plays, we don't, and, and that's what happens. You can say we're young. You can say, you know, inexperienced. But we played 23 basketball games, and you should be able to have that toughness to be able to to come away with a win. Yeah, Coach, we, we battled their runs uh, a lot, of, you know, basically midway through the for the first quarter all the way up until almost the fourth quarter. You know, Southeast would go on a run and the Railers would come back. We couldn't cut it underneath six points, and I think finally the fourth quarter, uh, I don't know if we ran out of steam, but Southeast has for sure turned it up. Well, you know, we gave them two or three opportunities. We didn't rebound. Uh, you know, you got to rebound. If you're going to win big games and tight games, you got to be able to allow one shot and we were given two and three shots each time down the floor and you don't have much of an opportunity when you do that and you know uh, I thought our kids fought hard uh, but uh, you know there's got to be some toughness and you got to be able to get those plays if you're going to win basketball games. Coach after the game uh, we were talking uh, about uh, Max Cook uh, it seemed like he may have had uh, one of his better games here tonight because it seemed like at any point he could get to the basket and when he did he was able to do a lot of things and it seemed at points that there were times that Max was the only one really out there willing to just stick his nose in there and go for it. Yeah, you know, and you got to have other people and uh, uh, you know, we uh, you know, the big play was the one where he traveled and he should have just taken right through him and if you get a block or if you get a charge, you get a charge, but they were completely under the basket yeah. on that one and he should have taken that right to the rack and you know, uh, again, I, I think if, you know, you tell him to do that, he'll do it. But, uh, you know, you, you still have to be able to to be able to handle that. And that was a big, that would have cut it to two. Uh, who knows what would have happened. Yeah, two. And he, he gets a steal at half court. And uh, Southeast grabs us from behind. And, oh. and that, that would have cut it, I think, four points, five or four, Jeff. And, and there's another big play in the game where, the you know, things just didn't go the Railers way. But, but all in all, we fought. And, and they're such a tough matchup, Coach. Talk a little about they got three shooters on the outside, plus you can put Chris Davis and when Jake Olson or, or Pod is playing the point, they, they just can't match up against Davis in the middle. No, it's it's hard and uh, tough. And, you know, the kids are playing hard. They're doing their best. But, uh, you know, we we, uh, we got a ways to go here yeah. in short of time. And a lot of good teams coming up. Oh, boy. Coach, uh, real quick, talk about uh, how things changed for your game plan, if at any with uh, Gavin picking up his uh, those two fouls very early on. Well, Gavin struggled, uh, but give him a, you know, the, the speed is, you go from uh, junior high basketball to this speed, and then, you know, this was fast. And he now then maybe the best athlete on him all night, Chris Davis. Yes, in, very in much the conference. So. And then next week we go from fast to, Faster? God, I don't even know what you call <laughs> next week. Uh, 
Uh, the number one in the state. Yeah, number one in the state. So we're going to get a crack at that because, uh, uh, you know, but, uh, you know, he, he, he's got, he learned a lesson tonight. And, uh, you know, they took him out of the game and, and uh, you know, he picked up silly fouls. And it, it's, it's a quicker game. Yeah, and I think Coach Hill learned that that last foul, I think it, early in the first quarter he picked up a quick one. As he gets, progresses, that's a foul you just let the guy make a, make a layup. Yeah. You know, you hate to give up an easy basket, but it's four, gotta, minutes, four minutes left in the first quarter, Coach, and, and you just got to let him. You give him two points and say, let me stay in if I don't pick up this yeah, foul. Yeah, or at least not let him have the two <laughs> points, one of the two. You know, uh, and, get my money's and, worth. And but, not foul, but, but he's, had a lot of, he's had a lot of great guys guarding him this year. You talk about Davis. You talk about the kid from Plainfield South. Uh, not only has he has he been good up until now, but he's had, he's gotten a lot of experience too. Well, you know, he, he's going to be a good one. He's yeah. just learning some lessons, and they're pretty valuable right now. And you know, if he's a good player, he'll take those lessons and you know put them to use and and see what he did this time. And uh, uh, hopefully, you know, he won't repeat them. Coach, uh, you talked about a week from tonight. We're back here in Springfield, the number one team, Springfield Landfear. Uh, that will present a monumental challenge, but. What, what do you do? Come to play. <laughs> you know, hopefully the kids will take it as a challenge. But, uh, you know, they're, they're very good. Uh, they're very uh, athletic, very quick. Uh, uh, you know, Ever Clemens is a phenomenal athlete. And, you know, Larry Austin, uh, you know, they've got – they're not overly big. Uh, but, I, you know, they're going to – you know, they probably deserve the one ranking in the state. Coach, thanks for coming up and joining us after this one. A tough loss for the Railers, and uh, back at it. Uh, the only game for this week, uh, yeah. but uh, back at it uh, uh, next week. I have a double header, of course, a uh, week from tonight over at uh, Lanfear, and uh, see what the Railers can do over there against the number one team in the state. Well, we'll go, we'll play, and uh, but uh, we'll have our hands full. But uh, another good learning experience for our guys, and you know, uh, y you have to be prepared at. Uh, you know, play these, I mean, real aggressive teams. But if we don't learn to step up and, and match the intensity and the aggressiveness, uh, you know, there's not a lot of room for improvement. That's the area we have to improve in. Railers fall tonight 54-37. Thanks, Coach, for joining us. And we'll be back to wrap things up here. We'll be back in two minutes. You're listening to Lincoln Railer Basketball.